Right, so today's video is for this 2017 Besser car. Um, it's a Besser car 454, I believe. Um, really nice layout and one of the newer ones and you can't get better than a Besser car in my eyes unless you're spending a lot more money because they really are um, great bits of kit. Uh, I've got an old Besser car and um, mine's 2009 um, and this is really quite nice and refined in here but it's lacking some tech. Even the Besser cars might not be specced with multifunction steering wheel and other stuff but this vehicle came to us with the Fiat VP1 uh, radio DAB media system um, in the dashboard and so what we've done is we've taken it out and fitted the 9 inch dedicated Pioneer camper system. It's the AVIC Z1000D-35C which is for the Ducato 7. 9 inch screen and it's designed specifically and only for open dash. Now a lot of people might say you can't have this in your vehicle um, and you can but then there's some pros and cons so as part of the dash um, installation or part of the installation we have to upgrade this whole dash panel um, which is a genuine fiat part otherwise this is all ugly and seen from the old radio that would curve over the top the other thing is, is because it had a VP1 radio in there, that features one of the newer Fiat rectangular plugs with CAN bus data in and other stuff, which means that things like the rotary volume won't work. Now, we always run by the customer what it can and can't do um, so that they can make a decision based on that. But the Pioneer is popular because it looks really good on the dash. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Um, but because of the fact that the Pioneer is only designed for the open dash models with um, ISO type connectors and resistive CAN controls, it basically means that we also have to fit a special adapter in behind the scenes to convert it to ISO and then more importantly to stop the odometer flashing here. This is a regular problem with a lot of um, camper van motorhome upgrades because you'll get the odometer flashing and then you can't change the date and time um, um, through the display because you've taken away the, the main source of that. So ultimately for us is having this interface in and sorted. It means that you can then adjust the time and the date through the instrument cluster can't do anything through the phone anymore. You haven't got the odometer flashing, so we can start the engine like so. Um, and you'll find that you've still got your date and time, you've got your odometer, and if you wanted to, you could go through the menu and still access your date and time, which you wouldn't have been able to before, um, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. But the R interface uh, controls all of that and sorts that out, which is perfect. Um, right, so let me just go out of this menu here. Um, we've now got, I have to unlock my phone, just one second, let me lean over, because we put the USBs in this little top cubby hole and you've got two. You've got one for Apple CarPlay and one for Android Auto and we just use a small lead um, on top there, like so. If we then go to my phone, Apple CarPlay on these is absolutely perfect. It's such a nice bit of kit. You can go into here, you can change the wallpaper to something that's a little bit nicer, set like so. You're going to get things like Google Maps, um, which is with the satellite view, it's an awesome bit of kit and it looks really, really good. And then you've got all your other mod cons. I listen to audio books. Um, you've got your Spotify, you've got your Waze, you've got your WhatsApp. I've got two on here. You've got your digital radio or internet radio and other stuff like that. So it's a really great bit of kit. If the reversing camera wasn't up on this display here, we would have um, the reversing camera through this dedicated button, but this is not going to work, um, and purely because of the fact that we've already got the reversing camera up in here, so no big deal. Um, we've already been through to the customer and said, look, the only way you're gonna be able to change volume on here, because you haven't got steering wheel controls, is gonna be through your volume on here. But it's not really a big deal. You have to lean over this far for the rotary volume, but of course, if you're driving, um, this would be nice to be able to function. It's just not gonna happen, but he was happy with that. So built-in navigation system. Um, because you've got built-in navigation system, 
you've then got um, camper database for mapping. It's not going to take you down narrow roads or low bridges and other such stuff and you can input your vehicle details and everything else. Now what you can do is um, you can update this and you can have free mapping and everything else and that's what makes it uh, such a nice unit because it's not a CD or a DVD or a mapping drive anymore. Um, they're all built in and hard drive. Now for us We've also done on this particular vehicle, uh, we've done our Alpine Dash radial speakers. So up on the top dashboard here, uh, during the video you'll see plenty of footage anyway. And that basically means that you've got these lovely speakers that are projected, inverted cone that are projected up through. And actually they sound really good considering that they're quite small. But also to team it up with the new radial speakers, we've gone for the Alpine dedicated subwoofer. Now this is the SWC D84 um, subwoofer and it's, it's you know absolutely awesome. Eight inch subwoofer in an enclosed box. It's then powered through a mini inline amplifier which is hidden behind the scenes. On the driver's side here you've got a little base adjustment knob so that you can turn it up or down. So if you get in with a headache you can just turn it back down. But Putting the Pioneer together, and the subwoofer, and the speakers, you've got a really nice setup. And we fit this sort of stuff all the time, but normally it's with an Alpine head unit. So today, it's been a little bit different, and that's fine because it makes it a bit more exciting. So 2017 Swift Bessicar Motorhome gets a complete makeover, subwoofer, dash speakers, and a nine inch camper nav system. Um, and for us as well, you can't beat it. Yes, you have to spend a bit of money to get this type of quality and audio gear, um, but well worth it. So if you want a system like this or similar, um, then get in touch with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends and family about our channel. We're doing a lot of how-to videos as well. Uh, and make, for us, makes a, a massive difference is your feedback as well. So thanks for watching and have a good day.